Right, well, myself and Malia just going for a little drive now just to uh, heat the oil up, just for a couple of miles around the block, big block, but get the oil nice and hot before dropping it. New filter on, new oil. And then we're gonna go away for a few days. Right, back from the garage now. Got the um, oil nice and hot, filled up with diesel. I forgot I had to go and buy an, buy an oil filter as well. So I'm gonna start off by removing the oil filler cap. Right, that's a bit tight, yep. Now I'm doing that. I'll also take the dipstick out as well. I've removed the oil filler cap quite simply because as it allows the when I when I take the uh, sump plug off and the oil is dropping without removing that what can happen sometimes and it certainly does with this vehicle is it is the oil just glugs and spits out as soon as you take as soon as you take this cap off it just comes out nice and smoothly so that's why it's advisable to remove that first of all it doesn't do that on all vehicles though so to change the oil on this, what, I've, uh, what I do is I just go up on the, the ramps, the levelling ramps. So the reason why I do sit it up on the, on the uh, levelling ramps is before I started on this build, turning this into a motorhome camper van, the, the van used to sit level, but where I've removed so much metal out of this van, seriously heavy metal, no pun intended, if that's a pun, but where I removed all that metal, I've not replaced it with anything like what I've removed. And plus I've got new shocks at the back, so the van is really sitting like a door wedge. So just put it up on these ramps, it levels it off, so I can get all the oil out basically, because otherwise the way it's sitting, the oil will fall to the front of the pan and it won't come out at the back or in the middle. So that's the sun plug that's got to come off and unfortunately it's just reminded me of one thing. I've got a bit of a leak, tiniest little leak coming from that sun plug because the last three oil changes I've done on this, I've not replaced the washer or a new sun plug which is advisable because of course it, you know, the constant compression, undoing it, redoing it, trying to reseat an old washer basically, it's, it's not doing the job. So. It'll just have to do. I'm not going out again because nearest motor factors to get anything like that is is like six or so six miles away roughly, and that's if they sell it. Make sure I've got the right size. No, there we go. Yep, I've just got the wrong size socket to go on the end of that. Now, hold on. It wasn't a 12 mil, it was an 8 mil that I needed. So I'll just crack that before then getting the bowl underneath it. try and be as quick as possible when I'm doing that and it, it gets me every time so right now because I've done that I will take that glove off turn it inside out get that wrapped up straight in the bin so that's the oil filter there and this is why I've removed this pollen filter housing here because it just makes it so much easier just to get to so tool of choice for this job is now in the engine somewhere
times I've done this, not to this vehicle, it hasn't happened so far. And the good thing is with this vehicle is the oil filter is so easily accessible and with the tool that I use, this grips the oil filter absolutely beautifully. I mean, it's, it's the perfect oil filter removal tool for this, for this vehicle anyway. In the past, I've just used those that are on a chain, like a bicycle chain. And some of the positions of them, you end up mangling the absolute life out of the oil filter. You go to fit the new one, it's the wrong wrong oil filter, and you're stuck now with a, <laughs> without a new one. Um, and in many cases, if that happens to you, which it has been in, in the past, where it's been my only vehicle, and I've been in the uh, doo-doo, so to speak. But anyway, let's hope I ain't got the wrong one this time. And by the power of Grayskull, here's a new one, and fortunately they are correct. With some clean oil, I'll just run a little bead of oil around this rubber seal here just so it sits tightly if you don't run the rubber bead as you're tightening it it could sort of scrunch up a little bit so it's always better just to just to give um your filter a little bit of a, an oiling and in some cases they recommend that you fill the fill the oil filter up before installing it that's okay if you're installing it from underneath but in this case if I fill this oil filter up and turn it upside down and well, we know what's going to happen then. So anyway, enough of the waffle. So the oil I'm using, um, that I've been using for, for many years is, is Manol. Energy Premium. It's 45 quid for 20 litres off eBay can't go wrong at those prices all right I'm just replacing the um, sump plug again or well, not again I'm just replacing the sump plug be careful not to over tighten these you'll do the threading if you over tighten them so just be careful as I was saying about the oil filter with the new one with with some new oil just smear it around that rubber seal rubber gasket wipe it on your nice new clean tracksuit bars and wait for your missus to go eight So I do them up hand tight, as tight as I can. And then I like to just get the tool on it. The oil filter tool. And just give it, just cinch it up a little bit. How are we doing? No, just changing the oil, mate. Hey, you right? Yeah, good, man, good. So the sump plug's been replaced. The new oil filter's in place. All I've got to do now is pour the new oil in. Check for any leaks, we're good to go. As I said, this fan takes seven liters. I know I've got exactly five liters in this one. So I can just go ahead and pour the whole lot of that in. Glug, glug, glug. Turn the bottle a bit. I remember a fair few years back in my boy racer days, 
my little Renault 5 GT turbo changing the oil on it and committing a cardinal sin for this sort of uh, job forgetting to put the oil sump plug back pour all the oil in all of a sudden realise I've got whatever it was like about three litres of oil all over the place two and a half litres whatever that silly little thing took I say silly little thing I love that car right another two litres just check we're up to oh man it's absolutely that's pretty much bang on I'll pour that in and then all we do is just add the tire I'll keep you doing it I'll start the engine up get it all around the engine then I'll uh, check on the dipstick see what the oil level is Place the dipstick, just give it another quick little wipe. Everyone likes a clean dipstick. Dean are off taking Mally for a walk. Right, I'll start it up, let it run for a couple of minutes. And then uh, we'll uh, turn it off and we'll check the uh, engine oil levels on the uh, dipstick. Anybody else with their Iveco daily have the problem I have with the bonnet patch. So when I shut the bonnet up, I use the put it just will not open it's this little doofer up here it won't release so I have to wedge a wedge like a pair of pliers or something under between the uh, bonnet and the front grill here pull the, pull the bonnet catch and then it, it engages otherwise it just won't work so I think that's a common problem First of all, take it out, give it a wipe. She's done I'll let the oil settle down for a bit, just for a few seconds, you know, 30 seconds, a minute, and then I'll uh, dip it, and hopefully we're uh, done. Can I help you, missus? No. No? What do you want then? Well, she just like, won't stop whining. Can't she stay down here with you? Okay. Right, let's do the dip dip. Do me first dip. Double dip. Double dip. Double dip. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on, What? Shut on the top. Give yourself space to grow. <laughs> That's all the excuse you need for eating chocolate. Eat? Well, it says so oh on my. my it says so on my jumper. <laughs> I can't. I need. Ah, oh, here we go. That's it. Where is it? There, right to that mark. That's exactly bang on full. I don't know. You can see that. With bloody difficulty, woman. <laughs> I'm lying, I can't. I was just <laughs> pretending for the camera. <laughs> no, I think that needs an egg cup full more. <laughs> right then, so, that's it done. Oil and filter changed. Ready for our next trip away. <laughs>